already had you so we are on my snappers world because I decided this would be the world I would play and as you can tell I'm not at the castle I'm actually at spawn and I've made a little house so if we die we will respawn right here probably or we'll respawn on the roof. I'm really hoping we won't respawn on the roof. Because <laughs> then I will feel awkward. Um, but yeah. So I made this little house as a respawn house. Just in case. Um, yeah. So inside, in case I ever died, there's armor, tools, water, food. Um, that iron I haven't put away yet. And yeah, I have to suck less next time. Uh, I even have, you know, a little mini farm here. Just kind of as a in case of emergency type situation. And what I'm going to actually be doing, um, I'm still going to work on the castle eventually. I, I actually kind of have a ideas for it, but I need to work on them more. Um, what I'm going to be doing is actually doing a... The only way to that was dark. The only way to really describe it is I'm going to be doing an inspiration village, basically what got me into Minecraft and YouTubing, because those are pretty much the same things, actually, for me. Um, I discovered both Minecraft and YouTube at the same time through the same person, and so yeah. I'm going to do like builds in homage to each of those people and I'm gonna make like a little village area in this spawn area which is why I'm making like a storage space here because I'm gonna need resources but the first thing I need to do before I can even work on that is actually set up a way to get from spawn to the castle and I've kind of been working on that. Well, I wasn't really working on the castle end of this with the intent of doing Inspiration Village. And actually, I think that's what I'm going to call that is Inspiration Village. Load, load, load. Yeah. But yeah, so I wasn't working on the castle section um, of the rail cart network with the intention of making Inspiration Village. Uh, that was actually something that just kind of happened. Ugh, would you load? Load. Um, and so I've actually got some work done on where the minecart track is going to end up, but I've never, like I hadn't thought ahead to that point. I still really want to do something with that spot right there. I don't know what though. It's it's, it's got to be something. Uh, shut up, sheeple. Shut up. Move, you little fuckers. There's a bat somewhere. Uh, and I've almost broken my first shovel. Which, you know, first world problems, single player world problems. Oh no, I'm going to break a diamond shovel. Whatever. So yeah, I actually started on, like, so I've got like this little underwater path thing. And then I actually have fleshed out this area just outside here. Oh, this is almost done being grass. Cool. Uh, and so I've got this you know, little area for where minecarts will go. I'm going to have one minecart over here and then one minecart over here and they'll go, one will go that way over to uh, the slime area and then one will go off to Inspiration Village down this path. Uh, but really quickly, since that's mostly grassed over, I want to Wait, where is it? Uh, this chest? No, top chest. Duh. -huh. Let's see. I probably only need like five bone meal. Bink. 
and do I have I only have two dark oak saplings? Crap. No, I don't want to do it then. Uh, what can I do instead? I don't want to do spruce. Spruce just looks eh. Could do zebra. Yeah, I guess I'll do two zebra trees. No, I'll do one zebra tree. <laughs> Sorry. I hadn't expected this to actually be grown in. Um, my big problem lately has been that I want like jungle sapling stuff. And I actually went and used, uh, I think it's called Mine Alpha or something like that. Mine Atlas, that's what it's called. To like pull up the world. And the nearest jungle is like 4,000 blocks away or something ridiculous like that. Okay, there we go. That gives me a little something to look at outside my bedroom. It's not perfect, but, you know, whatever. What are you going to do? And then... I'm debating if I'm going to just leave these as... Blop. Leave these as vines, because I know vines break mob uh, line of sight, and I don't know if I need to actually put glass in these or not. And mobs aren't going to be able to get in here because that's going to be a bridge eventually. Anyways, uh, minecarts. Yes! Um, so I'm going to need... No. Okay, and I've got... Okay, so I'll take these. I'll take... Uh, no. Let's take some chests. Ooh, I have glowstone dust. That might be useful. I still only have the one wither skeleton skull, which is pissing me off. Because, yeah, I spent a while in the nether recently and got nothing at all. <sighs> Single player problems. I really need to set up a nether ward farm somewhere. I need redstone. Let's take three stacks. That should be enough. And then I need iron. Two of that. And then I need gold. I'm taking like all of my gold. Uh, lapis. Random blocks because I threw them there. And let's see what else do I need. I'll probably want some cobble with me. I know that sounds weird. Dirt, cobble, gravel. Ooh, do I want any of this? No. I have some glowstone. That's what I went to the nether for. Most recently. I'm gonna need some you eventually. Take some moss with me and some mossy cobble. And then I'm actually going to take a bunch of cobble with me this time. So I've got iron, I've got gold, I've got redstone. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, where's the sun? Is it going down? Eh. Can't even jump out of a fucking window. I'm amazing. I didn't know that when you placed flowers, they actually randomly place within that block now. They don't place in the center. Which is kind of annoying, honestly. I mean, it makes it look more natural, sure, but... Nah. Um... Oh, and when I was looking at my atlas, I know that off to the west from spawn, there's a possibility that there's a village. Like, I guess my atlas doesn't actually have the ability to tell you if there is or isn't a village, but there's a possibility there's a village like a thousand blocks away or so. I don't know. 
We might have to go adventuring because supposedly there's a desert off that way too. So I mean, that's double the reason for me to go over there. Now I should, I should start the bridge thingy for the minecarts over here. But I don't know where it's going to end up over in Inspiration Village. And so that's kind of something I want to do first is the building for it. Hey, blah. Blah. Oh, you died. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I also have had horrible, horrible luck with Endermen. Um, I've been trying to gather Ender Pearls for both Ender Chests and for the Dragon, like hunting for the Stronghold. And I literally have not been able to find like any Endermen. That's the other reason I want to find a desert is not only for the sand, but also for being able to darkness. Uh, also being able to hip, hip, uh, farm Endermen at night because the desert's just so much easier to farm them in. And now we're back home. Well, home 2.0, 3.0, I don't know, something point oh. Okay. Now the question is, do I want to come in down there or like come up here? I could go from like, okay, so if we do a main, that's the thing I need to work on is I need a main roadway. Um, there's nothing in here. Minecart stuff. Oops, fucking ink sacks go away. Okay, uh, I should have grabbed another shovel. Damn it. So if we do the main road, and it's not all going to be cobble. Um, I want to do coarse sand, dirt. How do you even make coarse dirt? Uh, Minecraft wiki. Coarse dirt. Yes, coarse dirt is a variation of dirt that will not grow grass. How do I make this? Two dirt and two gravel? Oh, that seems really easy, actually. Uh, gravel. Gravel. So if I'm like, bap, bap, and then I'm like, badoom. Fancy. So coarse dirt and gravel. Okay, I don't even know what it looks like. I just know it's kind of cool. Uh, dunk. Maybe with a little of this. And some cobble. Hmm. See, now this needs to have this like this. And then... Some coarse dirt here, maybe? Okay, first things first. Let's go like this. Wee. Okay, that should be a good start for the road. Oops, too much. Bam. Eh. 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 This is totally gonna kill my shovel, and I don't even care. Son of a. No. Okay, so I don't have much gravel, so let's kind of like just sporadically pr place it. No, that's way too much. Dink. And... Dink. And then for coarse dirt, I just kind of want to like... Stop. Stop clumping up, stupid thing. I wish there was a more like randomized way to place blocks. Okay, and then... Cobble. No. 
Whoa, what was that? That was weird. Come on. Placey the blocky. I don't mind that actually. Um, I need a workbench down here though. And doink. There we go. I like have this fascination currently with wall lights. Does that make sense? I'd love to do like redstone lamps and then a daylight sensor and have them toggle on and off. I might do that at some point eventually when I have more glowstone. Like the area of the nether that that portal brings me into is barren. It's so sad. All right. Let's see. Where's the front door on this thing gonna be? Obviously not right there. Uh, right here actually is where this front door is gonna be. And then that just tells me where the front door on that's gonna be. I don't want the front doors to be right across from each other. I kinda want them staggered. So we'll do a front door right here. And then a wall. Bink. So one of my things with this area was I kind of wanted to give it like the basic feel of it was to feel like a place you had made before you had diamonds and everything. So that's why I'm using a lot of cobblestone, especially in the basis of the wood structure or in the basis of the structures. Like that is supposed to be like my first home. I think it came out nicely. Um, do I have any... Do I have any of the good wood left? Uh, this side maybe? Oak. Eh. Eh. I kind of want to use dark oak for that floor. I think I still have a few left up here. I do. Bunk. But yeah, I kind of like the idea of doing Inspiration Village just because it's... Hey, these are... This is kind of like an homage to the people who either got me started playing Minecraft or got me started on doing certain things on YouTube. Wow, did that really? Perfect. Okay, and then... And basically, like, I also want to... Be like, hey, these are the people who helped inspire me. Mm. No, it's going to come out from this side here. Um, and that's just so that way I can be like, hey, thanks. I mean, it's not like any of those people are ever going to know I made the video. But still, you know. And so, I mean, like, the first respect I will be giving out is to a friend of mine, actually, who I haven't talked to, really, in a long time, uh, Tykin132. I actually met him back when we played WoW together, and he was like, hey, you should check out this game. Um, it's called Minecraft. I make videos of it. And from him, I found people like X and CoStar. 
and it's just kind of been one of those things where I'm like, uh, where it's just, I don't know, my inspirations have kind of just started there and then moved on. I don't know why I love doing, like, the bottom top bottom patterns with slabs. Like, I just like the way that looks. Sleepy sleep, sleepy sleep. So, I mean, the first thing I'll be doing will be building... Essentially, I will be making a building in homage to him. And I haven't really... Like, I've been creative building with knowing what blocks I have in... Okay, do apologize about that brief jump. Um, my computer sucks. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. And so, like, as I was saying, though, um, I'll be building a, a building for him. Uh, I'm kind of leaning more towards, like, a cottage. And if you've never seen any of Tykin's videos, you really should. He's pretty funny, and he's a great guy. Um, but he has this build style... That just, I don't know, there's something about it that it just, it's nice to look at, and it's really cozy, which sounds weird, but what you gonna do? Um, I need, first off, I need one of these. You get to cooking. Um, but he has this way of building that is both modern and kind of unique. So, I mean, it really has this nice feel to it. And doink. That's so that way I can minecart in and out. Mm. Bink. Yeah, that's what I thought. So... Uh, one thing you'll notice with a lot of my builds is I either do the... Oh, computer. Com computer. Why you do this? I either do the gate door or I just leave it open. That's because I don't like zombies. Zombies are dumb. And if I don't a door up, then generally zombies will leave me alone. This does leave me open to creepers. Kind of just sticking stuff in chests right now. Um, can I have? Can I? Can I have? Can I have? Can I have? Thank you. Okay. So I need a button. And then I need this chest. No, the chest above that. Okay, so it's this chest, not the other chest. So I need gold, and rails, and redstone. And iron. I don't know if I actually need iron, but, you know, whatever. I don't remember how to make... Okay, no, I do, I do, I do, I do. Don't worry, I'm not dumb. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not completely dumb. I know someone out there was probably like, no, you're really dumb. And I'm like, shut up, dick. Okay, that gives me powered rails and regular rails. And I guess I can make a couple detectors. I want to say detector rails are just this and this and this. Yes. Okay, if 18 detector rails aren't enough, I will just be mad. Okay, so I button this. I do this, 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 and this. And not this. And unless I'm a complete dum-dum, I should be able to go under that glass pane. Uh, minecart? Minecart. 
I'm not going to do this. Well, I might do it over grass. I don't know. We'll see. This. Sit in. Go like this. Holy crap, you're loud. But it worked. Shift. Punch. 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 Cool. So. I'm actually going to wrap up the episode for today. Here. And I'm going to slap a roof on this guy. It's probably just going to be a flat roof, honestly. I might do one of my silly little fence roofs. Uh, let me show you. show you what I mean. Some people are always like, what the fuck's a fence roof? And I'm like, it's a, it's a roof held up by fences. How the hell do I make fences? I thought fences were made like this. Aren't they? game. I have not minecrafted in a while. Please, please do not make changes on things. Oh, I make fences like that. Okay. Well, that's great. Now I have a thousand fucking sticks I have no use for. <laughs> so, for those who have never seen my weird ass fence roof, this, uh, eh, eh, lag is real. It's like this, and then I stick fences on top of that, and then I put half slaps on top of the fences. Yep. Like that. My computer is horrible. Okay. Anyways, I will see y'all next time. Bye.